Hey everybody, it's me, Remy, the comic book poster, and I'm here today to welcome you to Enter the Posters. It's Tuesday, so you know what that means. It's time to check out what new comic books that I'm going to pick up this week's new comic book day, Wednesday, July 7th. So to figure out what I think you should read along with me, y'all check it out after this. Hey, little girl. Did you want to know a secret? I got five on it. Five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, two quick announcements before we go. Number one, uh, on Friday's video, I will drop in the giveaway wheels for patrons and channel members. And number two, don't forget, I'm going live on Whatnot on Thursday at 8.30 Central for another comic book auction. You don't care about that? Maybe you do. Maybe you do. Awesome. Uh, but let's check out what I'm reading. This is a pretty big week, and I'm mostly caught up across the board uh, with the exception of X-Men. Uh, so first up is Avengers number 46. It is the beginning of the World War She-Hulk event. We are dealing with the fallout of the Enter the Phoenix event. Uh, we'll see if this sucks me in to read more of the uh, World War She-Hulk books. I like the last two arcs of the Avengers, uh, so I want to, you know, maybe I'll start caring about World War She-Hulk. Next from Boom Studios is Basilisk number two. Number one was mind-blowing in terms of looking at the cult and all the different forces, in terms of looking at the two women who are now having to find ways to work together for survival, uh, that this is uh, Cullen Bunn and the rest of the creative team at their best. Uh, I, I can't wait to get my hands on this book. Next up, we got a double dose of Batman. Uh, Batman 110. We're getting more in terms of what's going on with the police force in New Gotham. Uh, we're starting to see more with the Unsanity Collective. We're starting to see more and more of the Ghostmaker story uh, at the end of each issue. So I want to see, you know, the big, uh, you know, battle moment that we are building towards. Uh, we also get the second of season two of Batman The Adventures Continue. This is my childhood Batman the Animated Series uh, back in comic book form. I'm, I'm loving every second of this. The book that I'm the most excited about this week is Battle Cats Volume 3, number one from Mad Cave Studios. Uh, this is the final arc of the Battle Cats saga. Uh, that This was one of, if not the first, Mad Cave Studios title uh, that I read. We're starting to figure out what is happening in Valderia after uh, the king died at the end of Arc 2. Uh, so now we get to see how the team finds a way to come back together uh, to fight for what is right. And There's also a preview of this up on comicbookposer.com. You can find the link in the description below. Next up from IDW is Chain to the Grave number five. I think this might end up getting pushed back uh, or we're getting it in back-to-back -back weeks, uh, but I'm still on issue three of this book, but the art is still a trip. Uh, Children of the Atom from Marvel, I'm still behind on my X-Men. My goal by the end of the week is to minimize the, the pile of X. Next up from DC is Crush and Lobo number two. I'm still waiting on my copy of number one to come uh, in the mail, but I'm excited, you know, about Lobo and his daughter. Next up from Image is Deep Beyond number six. Uh, this series just keeps getting better and better to me in terms of a classic, uh, you know, what Deep Blue Sea style horror film, right? I just need Samuel Jackson to pop out and scream about a shark eating him. Uh, but with it it almost seems like the the team is dealing with whack a mole in this that for every problem uh that they attempt to solve three more pop up uh so i keep getting sucked into the world and the drama that is being built uh next for marvel we get the continuation of the king and black in new extreme carnage series 
uh, I really enjoyed all of the absolute carnage stuff. I enjoyed 95% of all of the King and Black stuff that came out. So I'm definitely ready to see uh, what continues to happen in uh, this new extension of the event. Uh, next up from Skybound is Firepower 13. Uh, number 12 did a good job of kind of bringing me back in with the, the story making a little bit more sense um, from a narrative perspective. Now will Owen get to go back home? Apparently not, because you see, right? Oh, no. Uh, but I'm starting to see all of the pieces come together in a cleaner way that uh, I really felt like I was missing out on around issues, you know, 9 and 10. Uh, next up from Image is Geiger number 4. Uh, I've loved this series. I love seeing kind of the explosion of the villain uh, and everything that we see from the glowing man. Uh, we learned a little bit more tragedy about the, the vault, uh, but apparently we get to see finally the beast that lies under the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, next up from Black Mask is God Killer Tomorrow's Ashes. Uh, I really enjoyed this, that I read this at the same time I picked up uh, Cal Exit, Young Terrorists, and uh, Black. Uh, so I'm excited to see what happens in the, the next arc. Uh, we're getting, you know, a post-war America uh, where we're seeing city-states go to town, so I'm wondering if I will like this for reasons similar to me liking Undiscovered Country, uh, but I definitely need to grab my my trade of God Killer to brush up on it before I get back in. Uh, next from Image is The Good Asian, number three. Uh, we're starting to see a little bit more uh, drama come into this in terms of the conflict of uh, Hank kind of playing with being the servant of two masters. Uh, I'm intrigued to see a collision of worlds in terms of looking at Chinatown uh, and the construction of the Asian identity. Uh, so this is a good one because it gets you to think uh, in a couple of different ways and I really like a good thought-provoking book. Uh, next up is Green Lantern number four. I've continued to enjoy this series. Uh, I think I'm enjoying this run more than I did uh, the later third or two thirds of series two uh, that just wrapped up. And I feel like this is doing a better job of helping you walk through the universe of the lanterns if you are not wholly familiar. Uh, next up, Hellions, behind, apparently something happened to Mr. Sinister in my absence from the title, uh, oops. Uh, next, uh, from Hollow, or from Vault Comics, we got Hollow Heart number five. Uh, I continue to just talk about how much I love this series, uh, in terms of looking at the relationship between Mateo and Elle, looking at how... L is starting to become a bit more self-aware about the relationship that he has with other entities around him. Uh, so I want to see, you know, how this kind of perspective on humanity uh, continues to evolve. Next up, a book that I'm sad to see go uh, is Carmen. Uh, issue number five comes out this week, uh, where we get to learn the fate of Catalina's soul and her body. Uh, in terms of her kind of struggle with life. Also, uh, we get to kind of find out Carmen's final fate, uh, that you learn how much that she's despised by some of the other entities around. Uh, next from Dark Horse is Masters of the Universe Revelation number one. Hell yeah, I'm all about Masters of the Universe uh, coming back in every shape and form. Uh, you can see the continuing, you know, growing and sprawling collection of Masters of the Universe stuff uh, in terms of pops and sodas behind me. Whoops. Uh, next up from uh, Aftershock is Miles to go number five. Uh, we're starting to learn more about Anna and her, her mother. Uh, we're starting to see if... Uh, there are more skeletons in the closet that will continue to shake up life 
I really enjoyed this series a lot, and then I feel like it just took a long time for, like, issues 3, three 4, and 5 to come out. That could just be me. Uh, it's still a good story. It's still something I look forward to reading to. It's just hard to remember because it feels like it takes forever between issues. Uh, next up is Nice House on the Lake number two. Waiting on my copy of number one to come in before I get caught up on that. Uh, next, uh, the next to last issue of Noctera's first arc is coming from Image. This has been uh, just a home run of a series to me in terms of the characters being created, the narrative being constructed, the drama, uh, the false hope of maybe finding what, you know, could end the big PM, uh, that there are just a lot of things happening, you know, at the same time, let alone the fate of, uh, Val's brother, uh, which I'm gonna guess gets resolved across the next two books. Uh, next, also from Image is Post Americana number one. Uh, I, this keeps finding new ways to get over the top. Uh, apparently we have uh, some plays with old intellectual property in here. I feel like this book is going to be a little bit campy, uh, but hell yeah, I'm ready to go. Uh, next up is a series of beginning that I'm fairly excited about, uh, the Skybound X series. Uh, these are all celebrations of 10 years of Skybound kind of looking at uh, different characters, different authors, you know, creative talent who have worked through Skybound uh, to do a bunch of things. And this is a weekly series, so I'm excited to get just a big dose of Skybound. Uh, next from Humanoids is Space Bastards number seven. This is probably my favorite book uh, that is coming out week in, you know, week in, week out. That just everything that happens in this feels, you know, the right place, the right time, the right timing. Uh, it's just brilliant. Uh, speaking of brilliance from DC, uh, we've got Rom V Swamp Thing number five coming out this week. Uh, this, I've said many times, is hands down my favorite ongoing DC title right now. Uh, so as he is learning more and more and more about himself and his powers. Uh, we kind of learn uh, that d about the difficulty that Levi is having uh, in terms of being the master of the green, but also someone who is lonely. Next up from Scout uh, slash Black Caravan is Tales Told in Technohor number one. Uh, this is also the title coming out uh, that AMKM and I have an exclusive cover coming out for uh nate johnson did a beautiful job with two different versions of the the virgin variant and the trade dress uh i'll drop the commercial in at the end of the week or at the end of this video uh but you get a kind of annual style uh horror series where each individual story kind of creates its own narrative uh, in its own different kind of campy horror style. Uh, next from Marvel's Thor versus Thor and Loki Double Trouble number four. Uh, I just read issue one the other day. Uh, I thought it was relatively entertaining. Uh, this is in my to get caught up pile. Next up from Dark Horse's The Worst Dudes number two. Uh, this is also towards the top of my to read in terms of page number one but apparently you get full frontal nudity on the first page, so I'm probably going to fall in love with this series as is. Uh, next, from Boom Studios is WWE The New Day, The Power of Positivity number one. Uh, I love The New Day. I love uh, each of the individual uh, wrestlers on, on that team, uh, so I'm excited to see what this looks like in terms of a story being put together because this is my first WWE comic that I will have ever read. Uh, X-Force 21, still behind. Uh, and then the last book for the week is X-Men number one. Uh, this is the, I think, new team, new reset of the universe. 
Uh, I don't know what happens to the rest of the ongoing titles uh, with this creation of X-Men number one, uh, but my goal is relatively soon to be caught up so I can figure out what is happening in my multiple short boxes of modern X-Men. So that's all I've got for the week. Uh, is there anything that you think that I'm missing out on? I'm sure you'll probably let me know over here in the chat below. If you're watching this on Rewind, then let me know down in the comments below. Uh, but as always, y'all, thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. Hey, little girl, did you want to know a secret? I got five on it. Five. One, two, three, four, five.